It comprises some two million square feet devoted to the design, development, and production of missiles for the Department of Defense. Formerly the Naval Industrial Reserve Aircraft Plant, it is now operated as the Army's Michigan Missile Plant. The plant presently employs well over 8,600 people. Design and complete drawing documentation is the foundation upon which product development and improvement is built. The 1,400 engineers, technicians, and draftsmen here at CCMD are actively engaged in the design of structural, mechanical, electrical, and guidance components of the missile and ground support equipment. The improvement of design and the multitude of resulting changes is a continuing activity. Technical panels have been established to evaluate the many proposed changes and to consider their effects on the overall system. Quite often, changes can be made on the spot to mock-ups to determine their feasibility, thus saving many hours in design and drafting. The installation of components and the routing of tubing and harnesses are studied prior to production here in the mock-up area. Assembly changes are tried to prove or disprove their practicability before their introduction into the production cycles with these Jupiter missile mock-ups. This applies equally to the fabrication of ground support and launching equipment, for here the prototypes are made. Not only must the component fit, it must be accessible to the man who must adjust, repair, or remove it. The development of prototypes, whether they be of ground handling, launching, or missile components, requires the capabilities of fabrication from advanced information usually some time before final design releases. To assist in the analysis of missile behavior in all phases of flight, Chrysler Missile Division has a full complement of automatic computing equipment. This analog computer is able to dynamically analyze and simulate a missile in any phase of flight. In addition to the analog computer, Chrysler has an IBM 704 digital computer capable of calculating a complete six degree of freedom missile trajectory. The staff of highly trained mathematicians associated with these machines has extensive experience in the analysis of dynamic missile behavior. Another phase of missile development is testing. Here is a portion of the test facilities available at Chrysler Missile Division. These laboratories comprise some 1,100 engineers and technicians, bringing our engineering activities to over 3,600 personnel. This equipment is in the temperature programming control area, which is utilized to simulate re-entry induced temperatures into the missile. Actual simulation of re-entry temperatures and loading is showing. This furnace is supplied by a 5,000 kVA power source and is capable of elevating the temperature of the skin to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit in 30 seconds. This is a condition of the missile after test. The buckle in the steel skin is the result of the intense heat and load imposed. This vertical testing facility is used to stimulate flight loads on missile airframes. By properly proportioning velocity and density parameters, this facility can be utilized to evaluate the ability of a missile structure to withstand impacts such as into water. Air pressure at 3,000 pounds per square inch is available to test the functional characteristics of all pneumatic and hydraulic hardware. This control room, overlooking the cinder block constructed test cells, affords the operators complete vision, instrumentation, and control of high pressure tests with adequate protection. This facility provides the capability of achieving the reliability standards demanded in today's missile programs. These pneumatic and hydraulic testing and recording consoles are used to record all mechanical characteristics. Mechanical, functional, and leakage tests are performed on small components on these special test stands. As part of acceptance testing, each mechanical component destined for missile use is processed through this facility. All rocket engines are 100% acceptance hot fire. Following hot firing, a complete leakage and firing test is performed to ensure operation prior to production assembly. Jupiter and Redstone engines may be seen being processed on adjacent test stands. 
This multiplicity of tests while production is in process ensures that the product will be a reliable missile. The dynamic behavior of missile components are evaluated in this vibration test room. Chrysler Missile Division also has extensive facilities for environmental testing. In this part of the environmental laboratory, missile components are subjected to simulated humidity, altitude, and temperature conditions. By these methods, components are qualified for the extreme environmental conditions encountered in flight. The parameters are monitored and controlled by specially designed equipment. The results of these tests are then recorded and evaluated. Among the manufacturing jobs performed in this plant, construction of the Redstone tactical body is accomplished. Chrysler Missile Division conducted this program from design and test through the tooling and manufacturing. The tactical body has a steel skin with an aluminum substructure, designed on the basis of a limit design concept, making the fullest use of the one-shot nature of its mission to develop as light a structure as possible. Here, the air rudders are given an in-process check. The assembly of the Redstone missile is carried on in this area. Here, the jet vane drive protractors are adjusted to indicate vane deflection in the final checkouts. The Redstone missile is a complexity of wiring as indicated here in the instrument compartment and rear skirt interior of the tactical body. The payload is supported in this nose cone and is held in place by a support seen at the front end. Jupiter assembly is in full progress at Chrysler Missile Division. This is one of the assembly fixtures for the tail section of the missile. The tail section is constructed of aluminum rings covered by a thin corrugated sheet metal skin. The skin is riveted to the rings and surrounds the motor and auxiliary equipment. These fixtures are in a vertical position to allow for ease of assembly and removal from the fixture. All skin welding is accomplished by automatic machinery. All handling and assembly dollies in the assembly area for both the Jupiter and the Redstone missiles were designed and developed at Chrysler. This missile handling equipment is designed for versatility, and each device can serve many functions. The Chrysler Missile Division is equipped with X-ray equipment necessary for non-destructive evaluation of the quality of welds. This million-volt X-ray machine is used to determine the quality of welds made during fabrication of the Redstone and Jupiter airframe sections. This is one of the three X-ray units used for component weld evaluation. Even the slightest misalignment in the missile can result in an inaccurate flight. To ensure correct alignment, Chrysler Missile Division is equipped with the finest precision optical equipment. Personnel in this area are highly skilled in the art of precision missile and component alignment. This is one of the missile pneumatic checkout cages. Within this mobile cage, the missiles are pneumatically tested as complete sections and as components between different phases of fabrication. The missile systems are tested for leaks and for proper functioning of all tubing, valves, pressure switches, and other components. The cages are constructed of a steel wire mesh so as to protect personnel and equipment from flying debris in case of an explosion. The mesh also permits the release of pressure and would interrupt damaging shock waves. These facilities are capable of performing on-missile pneumatic tests up to 3,000 pounds per square inch. The missile, upon completion of the pneumatic tests, then moves on to the final checkout area. Here, the missile is put through its paces. It is given every test possible to sure its proper functioning when under actual flight conditions. Telemetering and all electrical components and connections are thoroughly checked out. The missile undergoes a simulated flight. This complex of equipment is required to record for further analysis every function, every action of the components aboard the missile. 
This final complete checkout provides the basis for governmental acceptance. These recorded responses are then thoroughly analyzed and evaluated. Backed by five and a half years of experience, Chrysler Corporation Missile Division has established a unique record in the missile industry for delivering reliable missiles on schedule. <laughs>